The buzz around Canon's EOS R1 has hardly settled before new rumors are swirling about another potential powerhouse, the Canon EOS R1X. Some are already calling it the true flagship, and it's hard not to be intrigued by the possibilities of this rumored model. While the EOS R1 features a solid 24.2 megapixel sensor, reports suggest that the R1X could push the envelope with an astonishing 80 megapixel sensor. This high-resolution beast could set new standards for Canon, especially for those craving ultra-detailed imagery. For those who have followed the EOS R series, the speculation seems endless. Even with the release of the EOS Roan, rumors persist. It's important to note that Canon already offers a high-resolution option with the EOS R5 Mark I which boasts a 45-megapixel sensor and can upscale images to an impressive 180 megapixels. However, some enthusiasts feel this isn't enough for a dedicated 80-megapixel pro body. Historically, Canon and Sony have favored the 24-megapixel range for flagship models, balancing detail with high-speed performance. The EOS R1 can produce 96-megapixel images via pixel shift technology, leading some to question the need for an 80-megapixel sensor. The EOS R1 was designed with photojournalists and sports photographers in mind, targeting major events like the Olympics. Introducing an 80-megapixel model shortly after could overshadow the strengths of the Roan. Speculation about whether Canon will release an R1X or an R1S adds to the excitement. If true, this new high-resolution camera could appeal to a wide range of photographers, from portrait artists to sports shooters, and could directly compete with Nikon's Z9 and Sony's Alpha 1. The Nikon Z9 has impressed with its speed, autofocus accuracy, and video capabilities, making it a favorite for both photographers and videographers. Similarly, the Sony Alpha 1 stands out with its 50-megapixel sensor and 30 frames per second shooting speed, catering to various professional needs. If Canon does release the R1X with an 80-megapixel sensor, it could challenge these competitors and potentially redefine professional camera standards. An 80-megapixel sensor would allow for unprecedented detail, benefiting those who work with large format prints or frequently crop their images. Landscape and portrait photographers would particularly appreciate the enhanced resolution for capturing intricate details, while sports and wildlife photographers could benefit from the flexibility of cropping without losing quality. However, the success of the R1X will depend on how well Canon integrates this high-resolution sensor with the camera's overall performance. High-megapixel sensors can sometimes slow down processing speeds or impact low-light performance. If Canon can overcome these challenges, the R1X could offer unparalleled resolution while maintaining the speed and accuracy expected from a flagship model. This balance will be crucial for competing with the likes of the Nikon Z9 and Sony Alpha 1. Moreover, an 80-megapixel sensor could also impact the video world, particularly in commercial and cinematic spaces. If the R1X supports high-resolution video recording, it could become a valuable tool for both photography and videography, offering a versatile solution for creators. Ultimately, the introduction of the Canon R1X, especially with an 80-megapixel sensor, could significantly shake up the professional camera market. If Canon delivers on high-resolution imagery without compromising speed and performance, the R1X could become a top choice for professionals needing the best of both worlds. As anticipation builds, both professionals and enthusiasts are eagerly watching Canon for any updates. While speculation is exciting, it's important to approach these rumors with caution. The camera industry is often rife with speculation, and not all rumors come to fruition. Canon's product development is strategic, and the release of the R1 was a significant milestone. Introducing a more advanced model too soon might not align with Canon's strategic goals. For now, patience is key. The world of photography and videography is ever-evolving, and while the desire for groundbreaking technology drives much of the conversation, we should temper our hopes with realism. Stay tuned for updates, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this.